Welcome friends, this is Atanu Chaudhuri of Shearsolve. In this first part of the video, we will solve the question 1 to question 5 of SSC CGL Algebra Solutions set 7 from Shearsolve.com. Let's solve the first problem. Question 1 is, the value of a equal to b square by b minus a, then the value of a cube plus b cube is option a 1, option b 6 a b, option c 2 and option d 0. To get a simple value of a cube plus b cube as in the choices, most likely we will get the given expression as a factor in the two factor expansion of a cube plus b cube. Let's first write the expansion of a cube plus b cube. a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b multiplied by a square plus b square minus a b. And simplifying the given expression we get a square plus b square minus a b equal to 0. So a cube plus b cube equal to 0. Answer option d 0. Let's solve the second question. Question 2 is if x equal to cube root of 5 plus 2 then the value of x cube minus 6 x square plus 12 x minus 13 is option is 0, option b minus 1, option c 2 and option d 1. The target expression has x cube when we are given the value of x. So we have to raise the given expression to its cube. We take a sensible action. We raise x minus 2 to its cube. If you expand x minus 2 whole cube, you will get x cube minus 6x square plus 12x minus 8. This will be equal to 5 because cube root of 5 when cubed becomes 5. Take this 5 on the right hand side to the left hand side and you will get the target expression. Value will be 0. Answer option A 0. Let's show you. From the given expression x minus 2 equal to q root of 5. Raise it to its cube. x minus 2 whole cube equal to 5. Or x cube minus 6x square plus 12x minus 8 equal to 5. Or x cube minus 6x square plus 12x minus 13 equal to 0. So target expression then will be 0. Answer option A 0. Let's solve the next problem. Question 3 is if p equal to 124 then the value of cube root of p multiplied by p square plus 3p plus 3 plus 1 is Option A 123, Option B 5, Option C 7 and Option D 125. The awkward expression under the cube root attracts our attention first. And without delay, we multiply P through the brackets to get P cube plus 3P square plus 3P plus 1 as the expression within the cube root. This is P plus 1 whole cube. After taking the cube root, it becomes P plus 1, the value 125. Answer, Option D 125. Simple if you discover the pattern. Let's write down. Target expression is cube root of p cube plus 3p square plus 3p plus 1 equal to cube root of p plus 1 whole cube equal to p plus 1 equal to 125. Answer option D 125. Let's solve the fourth problem. Question 4 is the factors of this is a long expression a square plus 4b square plus 4b minus 4ad minus 2a minus 8r. Each of the options is a product of two factors. For option A, the factors are a plus 2b minus 4 multiplied by a plus 2b plus 2. For option b, a minus 2b minus 4 multiplied by a minus 2b plus 2. For option c, a plus 2b minus 1 multiplied by a minus 2b plus 1. And for option d, a minus b plus 2 multiplied by a minus 4b minus 4. At first the problem seems to be difficult. But as a habit, we examine the target expression more closely to find a few terms which are related together. If we find a few terms which are related together, that will form a meaningful pattern out of the six standalone terms. 
we might be able to use the pattern for solution. That is the idea. And with this objective, we quickly find a square, 4b square and minus 4ab together to form a minus 2b whole square. a square minus 4ab plus 4b square. On top of that, the rest of the three terms, 4b minus 2a and minus a, do not affect the expression in any way. That means the expression a minus 2b whole square must be a component in the product of the answer choice. Looking for a minus to be whole square in four of the answer choices, we scan the first two terms of each of the two factors choice by choice and very quickly home in on to the option B where we get a minus to be whole square. It is clear that in the other three choices a minus to be whole square cannot be there. In the first choice a plus to be whole square is formed. In the third choice a square minus 4b square is formed. And in the fourth choice, a minus 2b whole square cannot be formed. So answer is option B. This solution is quick if you can identify the pattern. We will just mention here that this problem can be solved by a second method, the method of coefficient comparison. It is a systematic method but it takes more time. Very briefly, in this method, the coefficient of the terms a square, b square, b and so on are compared one by one with the coefficient of the like term in a choice. If the coefficient value is mismatched, the choice will be invalid. To speed up the method, in this case, we ignore the coefficient of a square b square and the value of minus 8. The reason behind doing this is, all these three coefficients are formed by two terms in a choice. But all the other three coefficients for b, a, b and a are formed by four terms in a choice. This makes the chances of getting mismatches and the final match at one stroke much higher. Without further explanation, let's solve the last question. Question 5 is, when the expression 12x cubed minus 13x square minus 5x plus 7 is divided by 3x plus 2, the remainder is option A0, option B2, option C1 and option D minus 1. We have to divide the first expression by the second. And the method that we will use in this case we call as continued factor extraction method. In this method, at each step, we find the quotient of dividing the term with the highest power by 3x. Multiplying plus 2 with the quotient, we form the second term. And we have to compensate for this extra term by adding or subtracting it. Let's show you how the method works. First, we'll consume the term 12x cubed, the term with the highest power of x. Taking 4x squared common in the first step, we have 4x squared multiplied by 3x plus 2. We have to have 3x plus 2 as a factor. To compensate, we have to subtract minus 8x squared, minus 13x squared, minus 5x plus 7. Now at the second step, we have to deal with minus 21x squared, minus 5x plus 7. And this will be equal to minus 7x multiplied by 3x plus 2, compensating plus 14x, rest of the terms minus 5x plus 7. So at the third stage we have to take care of 9x plus 7. This will be equal to 3, 3x plus 2 plus 1. So 1 will be the remainder. Answer option C. The method is not difficult. At each step, you consume the term with the highest power by dividing the term with 3x and compensating for the second term. This is the main process. Just to mention, the final quotient is the sum of the quotients formed in the three stages, that is 4x square minus 7x plus 3. But it is not needed here. Overall, though we could solve all the problems in mind, this set of problems is interesting to solve. We needed to use pattern discovery and a few special methods. To read the detailed solutions, refer to the article in showsolve.com. The link is available in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.